Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Tonic here, and we are about to go talk to the Dean in this next, this latest episode of Evo Land 2. So guess what? I did it. So, your studies are progressing well. Well, congratulations! You finished all your courses. This calls for some, an extra award. Here you go. Oh, cool, I got a star out of it. Still have no idea what those things are for, but... All right, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know about the Magi? The Magi are a people, or rather a civilization, that peaked more than 2,500 years ago, while the world was largely water underwater. According to the legend, they possess magical power beyond anything else in history. So, some even say they could manipulate time itself. I'd like to get a few years back if that could help. I don't know what I was saying there. But these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporary people to account for strange phenomena after the fact. Nevertheless, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2,000 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? Uh, let's talk about the Magil... Uh, no, disappearance first. Magilith are what we were here for. Surely it's the greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish from the face of the Earth 2,000 years ago? And without a trace, or practically none, I mean there's some bills lying around and I think an eviction notice, but... Even after years of research, I must admit I have the foggiest idea. I can't really remember too much as it is anyhow, but still. What would you like to know? Uh, we're going to talk about the Magilith. What are commonly called Magilith are in fact the most famous relics of the Magi civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread out through various continents. It's not precisely known what purpose they serve. Deciphered writings refer to a road or a path. But where does it lead? Incidentally, it was while researching, for, while searching for Magilith, that my former professor, also a great expert on the Magi, met her end. I mean, not her rear end, like she died. Quite sad story, really. What would you like to know? How about your professor? My old professor was leading a magi ex was a leading magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out who they had, why they had disappeared. Oh man, I was just having a trouble talking. Today. I recall she was particularly interested in magiliths. She thought the stones contained a power that once triggered would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a Magilith that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by pirates that lived on the island at the time. No one found a trace of her. That was on Magi Island, the one people now called the Cursed Isle. What would you like to know? I would like to know about the Stone of Time. The Stone of Time is quite a legend in itself. It has some connection with the Magilith, but I don't know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years. So long ago, in fact, that no one remembers when or why it was created. I'm even sure that the stone I'm not even sure that the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify is the arc is in the archive of the uh, Demonian family, royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The Stone of Time is 
evidently a large round stone, black, with an eye engraved in its center. Interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the prophet. A bizarre coincidence, if you ask me. Gee, I wonder why the prophet knows things. I wonder why they call him the prophet. But I'm hardly concerned with the outside world. What would you like to know? Uh, yeah. How do I how do I get here? Magi Island is far located far to the east, and can only be reached by boat from Sarah Harbor. Its name comes from the Magi ruins found there. The pirates made it their home, only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set foot there. They believe the island is cursed, and has. And its name has become Cursed Isle. Quite the ghost story. As if they even existed. <laughs> to be to get to Magi Island to get to Magi Island, you'll need a boat. Keep in mind that the only mem only a member of the Council Traders can provide you with a pass of safe conduct. What would you like to know? Um Nothing, you've pretty much given me all I need to know. Um, okay, that's it. No cutscene. No, we're gonna sit here and talk about this. Alright, so if I leave, maybe if I give the girls that drinking game book, maybe they'll give me what I need to know find out hello uh, book oh you brought us a book let's see here 50 drinking games you'd give this to some innocent girls then again it'll come in handy when we're older you basically kept your promise so here's this for you bow voucher oh star joy Thanks for the book. So I have one third of those stars. Still have no idea what they do. Let's go talk to our top hatted friend. Hey, can you do me a favor? A boat. Sure, you're looking for. Ah. So you're looking to get to Cursed Isle. Oh uh, boy. It's a weird place. I wouldn't go near it if I were you. But hey, it's your call. A forced man uh, majeure letter signed by me is all you need to set sail. Naturally, it'll cost you. Do you have something to trade? Uh. Fuck, okay. Where is that? Uh, what's that? Sugar? Do I have anything to trade him? I don't know if I have anything to trade him. Really don't have anything for me? Uh, what could he use? Nah, it's just gonna say the same thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, crap. Now I gotta figure out what I need. Hey. You throw. I'm trading. Alpha. Ha! Huh. Mm, I'm gonna talk to you. Maybe he'll take like, a burger or something. Welcome to Walk Donald's. I'm serving healthy gourmet food for over 100 years. Of this restaurant, which best became the best place to die in Geneva. He's a real legend in our family. That does not help. Uh, I'm going to talk to the old man again. Uh, maybe he's got more. Maybe I missed something. Maybe he's got some more information for me. What's up? Yes, uh, that's it. No, you don't have any. 
shovel up. No, you're good. Leave me alone. Uh, boy. Huh. Let's see. I'll figure out who else I can talk to then. Um. Someone in the inn that I can talk to? Hi. The daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Perhaps she would like to rest for a while. Uh, sure. The ministers are quite strict. I'm not allowed to give you shelter to any foreigners. Uh, but hey, I'm not complaining. Please don't tell anyone. I'm not complaining. Can I go upstairs at least and talk to people? There's gotta be someone I can talk to. What I want. Make millions of this contract. Blah blah. blah. Assuming that they don't read the fire print. Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough, we want for nothing, but my husband's always is away very often and comp compensates by bringing our girls' presents. I think they'd be better off. If you were around more, I can't discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. Okay. So your kids are spoiled. Good for them. Just can't sleep. All the girls in the store. Uh, oh. 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 Um, do you know anything? Oh, my sweet. Uh, take me away. Doesn't help. <laughs> Alright. Nah. Uh, gotta bring your mom into the whole thing. Alright. Um. You? Uh. Next to us. Maybe if we go out to the boat itself and talk to someone there. I didn't even consider that option. Let's go try that. Okay. Oh, there's a little town here. Hey. Moving crates and barrels around all day is exhausting, but it pays good. Hi. To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience. And then avoid worrying too much, especially with all the tales of people about her, her style. Um, sailor was superstitious. Just listen to talk about Curse Isle. The ghost of the dreaded. Roberts lives there. <laughs> okay. Um. Hi. Phew. Finally, bit of rest. The captain's working us to the bone. But being a sailor is a calling. Open sea exploring adventure. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can go talk to your captain. That is most likely the captain. How's it going? There'll be no leaving harbor for now. I've got a bad feeling, and I'm almost always right. It must be the ghost of the infamous pirate Roberts. That island off the coast is cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force majeure letter from someone at the trade council. Until then, I won't budge. You should be able to score one in Genova if you look around, but it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. Doesn't help me. I don't know what he wants. <sighs> I don't think I have anything on me. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I won't be happy about this. Uh, let's see. 
I don't know. Just talk to him again. Might tell me what he wants. What he really, really wants. Hi. Uh, a boat. So you're looking for a crystal. It's where you place where you go. Here's your call. Blah, blah. Naturally, it'll cost you. Do you want my loyalty badge? Oh, that's one of my grand. Ah, uh, there you go. It's one of my grandfather's loyalty badges. I thought it had been lost in the great disaster. The value is strictly sentimental. Please give this to me in exchange for a passive safe conduct. Sure. I should have guessed that from the start, but whatever. Okay. Well. Uh, now that we've got that. I'm going to call it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if I don't ram my hand in my mic, you can check out my last video in the corner here, or you can click in here for all the rest of my videos. And looks like we'll be taking a nice little sailing trip to the Cursed Isles in the next episode. So until then, see ya.